Well, good morning, everybody. On today's episode, we're going to be knocking out probably not a $5 breakfast, but more like a $2 breakfast. Sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit on the Weber kettle. Hey, if you love the grill and barbecue, then this is the channel for you. Come on over, man. Come on, smash that subscribe button. Hit a like. Give me a like. Come on. So you don't miss out on videos just like this. Because we're going to be knocking out some breakfast today on this little sucker. Yep. Her right there. This one right here. Sausage, egg, and cheese biscuits. Right here. All right. So let's just jump in and get going. That's right, right. I'm gonna get this thing pulled out here. Get a, uh, get a chimney lit. Um, we're gonna be doing this. Actually, this is gonna be kind of like a couple different videos inside of one, like cooking breakfast on a Weber. But also, we're gonna be smoking a fatty. And before all the haters start going, well, that's not a fatty. D don't even. Just, just, just don't even. This goes way back. And I'll tell you the story here in a minute. But first, I gotta get this thing lit. And there we go, that's how we do that. These are, I get a lot of questions how I start these. I use these Weber cubes quite a bit. Uh, I also, you'll notice on some videos, I use the uh, tumbleweeds, I've used my torch. And yeah, sometimes I even use lighter fluid. All right, so let's go get this sausage out. Now, here's the deal. This is how I smoke fatties. I freeze the sausage overnight. I want it to be frozen. And then I'll, I'll run it under hot water and thaw out the outside. Then I just pile on the rub. And then I cook it on, uh, slow cook it on whatever it is. But today it's going to be on a Weber. But the reason why... The reason why I do that is so it holds its shape for the most part. You put a, a, a log of sausage on there just out of the fridge or something, it's going to start shrinking and then next thing you know it's not even close to being round. So that, that's just one of my tips and tricks. So you got that for free. So go down below right now. Tell me what is one of your tips or tricks that I should know. Go down below, leave me a comment. Come on now. Biscuits, gotta have the biscuits. Got some eggs, use a little butter. I'm gonna leave the cheese, I'm actually gonna leave the cheese and eggs in here until we need them. But the star of the show, Mr. Jimmy Deans. This is all we uh, could pick up. Usually I use blue and gold for this. If you're from around this area and you know what blue and gold is, 100% use it. But for this, this is all I had. So here's what I do. I just run it under the sink. I just run it under hot water. And you can feel it. Start immediately thawing out that outside edge. Immediately. All right, so our charcoal's ready. We're gonna dump it. Then we're gonna cut this little sucker open. Get it rubbed down with that. That right there. And then we're gonna get to cooking. We are gonna put some cherry chunks, or these are apple chunks. We're gonna put some apple chunks on here. Woo. All right, so let's get this cut open. I just slice it down the edge all the way across, roll it out, and then get to add and rub. Roll that sucker around, grab it all, get the ends. That's good right there. I'm not gonna put it directly over just yet, but I'll put it right there and I turn it that way. And that right there, my friends, is what you call a smoke fatty. Oh, and by the way, today's Matt's birthday. Show, show him what you got him, Dustin. I got candles, but one of them was broken and he's not turning two. 
so. <laughs> Two candles? No, I got him a 23, but the three was broken. Happy birthday, Matt. Thank you, Cosmo. Put a little dirty bird on it. No. Come on, let's sprinkle dirty bird. <laughs> so we're gonna have uh, sausage, egg and cheese, biscuits and cake. Heck yeah. <laughs> and uh, JR's supposed to be coming over a little bit later with some uh, Bloody Marys. So. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes, so let's just take a little look. Oh, no, look at that. Is that not beautiful? Is that not beautiful? That is what I'm talking about. All right, so let me finish telling you my story about a smoke fatty. For those of you that don't know, pre-Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all that stuff, how us barbecue guys communicated back and forth. We did it on message boards, and a lot of you probably remember these message boards, but there's a whole bunch of you that have no clue what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna give you the birth of the smoke fatty. It started on, I can't remember me which message board, uh, um, the smoking, smoking form, I can't remember what it was called, it's rjb.com or something like that. Uh, Barbecue Brethren is huge, was huge back then, still is huge today. If you don't know what the Barbecue Brethren is, get over there, get signed up, it's an amazing site. Here's the story. A lot of people think a smoke fatty is sausage stuffed with whatever, cheese, another meat, or whatever, wrapped in bacon, and that is not true. That's simply not true. That is what you call a bacon explosion. And that, this is how it all started. So what it is, a smoked fatty is just a log of sausage that you smoke. That's it. That's a smoked fatty. A bacon wrapped smoked fatty is a log of sausage that you wrap in bacon and smoke. That's a bacon wrapped smoked fatty. A bacon explosion is like I said a minute ago. It's bacon wrapped sausage stuffed with whatever you want. Cheese, I've seen macaroni and cheese, hot links, brisket, chicken, anything. So that's the story. Now you know there's always one guy that commences is telling everybody down in the comments how dumb I am, but that is the truth. That is the truth. You heard it from me. So, golden. Now, I'm not even gonna get started on moink balls because that will blow your mind. And a lot of people, that, if anybody in here knows what a moink ball is, can you smash that thumbs up? Just for, just for using the term moink ball. If you know what a moink ball is, smash that thumbs up. Now, all right, so the fatty's looking good. I think next, I think the next thing I'm gonna do is the biscuits. I think that's probably wise because they'll keep. I don't want the eggs, to, I don't wanna cook the eggs and then pull them off and then set. So as soon as this fatty gets done, biscuits go on. They don't take any time whatsoever. We're gonna put them in a big pan. I think we got five or eight biscuits, something like that. Spray the sides, get them on there, get them going and then as soon as the biscuits come off that's when we're going to do the eggs and we're going to i even bought some little molds from walmart and they're boy they're they're cute they're cute you're gonna love them i'm thinking about rocking the cast iron but man i just don't know i just don't know yet my cast iron's really not seasoned like i want it to be yet and you gotta have that good season but i guess you know this is about as good a time to any to season it we got some duck fat we hit it with a little duck fat We'll do that. We'll do it on the cast iron so we get it seasoned. All right, so I put a probe in it. I got it set to 165. That way, I nail this sucker. And this is gonna be good too. This is gonna, I'm telling you right now, you guys are gonna wanna try this one. This is gonna be awesome. All right, so uh, I was actually up front talking to a customer and this thing started beeping and it's going crazy. So it's time to get it off. Woo wee. Look at that sucker. That's the hole where the probe was. But we're gonna get this thing wrapped up in some foil, get it resting, get the biscuits in here, and get them put on here so I can feed her. All right, so let's wrap this little rig up. We'll just set that sucker right there. So we just got some of this bray, or 
<laughs> some of this spray butter and uh, we're just going to spray the edges and then spray the bottom and then get our little buttermilk biscuits going this always always scares me every time and it didn't do it boom all right they're gonna, they're gonna have a little rub on them that's okay six that's all we got room for Ooh, we'll cook these on the side all right let's get them on here get them cooking Oop, got an extra pan put them on put the lid on all right now this isn't going to take very long we're going to have to keep these spinning <laughs> because that fire is freaking hot and that's okay though but we got some extras right here we got some extras i say we try something with these just try something. All right, so check these out, man. Look at this. That's biscuits on the Weber. This probably took about five minutes, too. These look amazing. I'm gonna get them pulled off, get them wrapped up, and then we're gonna start eggs. All right, we're gonna rock the cast iron. Start heating it up. You gotta have butter. That's, that's uh, too much butter. But hey, man, it's freaking eggs. It's gonna be awesome. So. I gotta run up front, I forgot, I got some, you'll see. All right, so uh, these are my little egg molds. You gotta love them, come on now. They're cute. I'm gonna spray them with some butter. A Little bit more butter. Can't have enough butter. And then uh, we're gonna put some eggs in here and get to cooking them. I mean, come on. How super cool are them? We're gonna hit these with a little bit of Dirty Bird Hot. Yeah, salt bay. Boop, boop. You're looking good, bro. All right, let's put the lid on it. We got all the major food groups. Sausage, butter, eggs, biscuits, spray butter, cheese, Dirty Bird hot. These are looking awesome, man. Ooh, look at that. Oh, get out of the way. Move that out. That's my hot. I'm gonna move over here, get two more going. Alright, so we gotta hit them with a little bit of dirty bird now. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. These look good, dude. These look really good. I'm really happy with these. Alright, lid back on. So it's not gonna take very much time now. Uh Sausage is done, biscuits is done, eggs is fixed to be done, cheese melts like that, so we'll be eating in a few. All right, so we got these eggs done. We're gonna pull these off and just put them right there. Just, just so they can hang out. Man, cooking these eggs in butter, that's the only way to do it, man. And, and I'm seasoning my skillet too, so thumbs up. As soon as these get done, we're gonna take these suckers inside, get them built, start eating on them. All right, so we moved inside because it's way cooler in here. So. Let's just get to building this thing. I'm telling you right now, I think this is one of the best ones. So this is our smoke fatty. We got that guy. We got our biscuits. We got our eggs. Now all we gotta do is just build it. Currently, uh, JR, <laughs> I forgot the knife out back, so JR is gonna go get it. But uh, my boy Blake Shelton seems to think he can kick the lid off this. So if you guys think I ought to try this in my next video, leave me a comment down below. Kick the lid off your uh, Smithworks vodka, because I know I can do a way better job than Blake Shelton. Because I've had, uh, I had a little, so you don't know this. And they don't know this, but I once went to a free karate class, a 30 minute seminar. So, I mean. Yeah, I'm, so you're basically a pro. Pretty much a ninja. Yeah. So if you guys want to see me try to kick the lid off this, I could do it. I could absolutely do it. Let me comment down below. But now let's get to building these biscuits. All right, let's get to cutting. This guy, that's always for me. I slide that over there. These are, I say let's do two slices of, br of smoke fatty and we'll cut them a little thin all right so we got our smoke fatty going uh i'm gonna grab a let's get this biscuit what do you say we gotta do a couple slices 
What do you think? Boom, sucker. Smoked fatty brisket sandwich. Breakfast sandwich. I keep saying brisket today. Does that not look awesome? Does that not look amazing? Now tell me right there. Tell me right there. That is not what I'm talking about. That looks amazing. We got a couple more of these built, then we're going to taste this one. All right, so man, this was a perfect, perfect cook. I thought it was going to be easy, and I mean it was, but man, this is super freaking legit. Go try this recipe. As for me, I'm going to get out of here, so make sure smash that subscribe button, give me a like, and ring that bell so you don't miss a thing. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Come on, JR. Come try one of these, bro. Is that not ridiculous? Are you serious? Great. You took that on the Weber. On the Weber.